sometimes I think it's keyboard players become keyboard players because their mothers made them practice, you know, and stuff. I don't know what. And the guitar for me came out of rebellion more than anything else, I think, against, you know, yeah. the theory of piano and yeah. violin and all the rest of it and all that stuff. Um, about 18 years. Started uh, when a friend of my father's used to come around a lot, talk about JJ Kale and Eric Clapton and mm -hmm. borrowed all his records. Yeah. I think I've still got a few. And then my dad got me got me a fender for my birthday once. And um, I was supposed to learn how to play classical gas, but I never got around to that because I got sidetracked into playing blues. And uh, I don't regret that though. But um, you that's, don't regret that's the way not learning learned. finger style guitar just. Well, I, I don't regret it no because it's got me to. Well, I am now, but it's, it's mm -hmm. something that I'd like to get into a bit more. Right. And if you're going to get into, as opposed to using a bit of, what we're talking about here is you use a bit of plastic to play yes, with, don't you? Yes, these pick. horrible things, look like toenails. Right. Do you like, a, do you like a thick quite, pick? Yeah, quite thick a, ones, yeah. Yeah. You make a, a good racket, these. You know that the, the pick is actually the biggest amplifier that there is, um, which I've found out at my cost, you know, because I don't often use one. I use one when I want to play a rhythm part, but on a record or something, but um, I actually got into a bit of finger picking yeah. and that's that something, and so Rick, if you were going to learn finger picking, you'd need to have a guitar teacher probably, wouldn't you? And well, then, I'd certainly need pointing in the right direction, yes. Yeah. Can you play us just a few bars of something that you've written? I mean, 20 seconds, 10 seconds of something that you've written, just so people can get an idea of, just something that you, just give us a few bars of anything, so we can kind of find something to get going on. Thing. Hey? Marvellous, isn't it? The lower D is a very important thing in guitar playing, yeah. But also you've got a lot of that drone thing going yeah. on, haven't you? Which is a, the basis of, well, pretty much it all, isn't it? And um, in a sense what you're trying to do as well as accompany yourself, and you know, you're getting a little bit of melody going. Well, yeah. You, that's one well, of the that, great I mean, that's, that's the best I can do without knowing all the finger stuff, I suppose. But the fingering the, stuff. The bottom yeah. D gives you like a pad to to play on the top of then. Exactly. Yeah. And then if you're playing like within a chord, you get all these other notes in that shapes and yeah. That's your melody do, coming it? in there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's can you just have a look at that vibrato there again. Yeah, like that. Making cards. Yeah, I see you're here. using, you like to use the, um, that whammy bar there. I never used to, but arm. since I got this one, yeah. I used to have another Fender, but I never used to bother with this. And then when I got this one, I got into like shaking cards a bit. But um, yeah. I mean, there's no substitute really for shaking it with your left hand, you know, like making it ache, bending it up a bit. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you can't beat that for me. Can't beat that for Can't you. Can't beat that for me. Yeah. I must have, you know, fallen asleep doing all that, you know, uh, the, the art of falling asleep playing like that stuff, getting my bends and getting the vibrato at the end of the bend. Yeah. Um, you, what you, what, the only thing that you've got to watch for there is just that you're not going sharp, you know. Yeah. If, if, I mean, I think you were going up to a, to a G there, that weren't was a G, you? Right, yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, great. Yeah. Can that's that's great. like yeah. <coughs> bit of Rye Buchanan kind of yeah. thing. Bit of yeah. um, Don Gibson, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. And uh, just playing as little as possible and, and making them sing. That's absolutely, yeah. And, and the thing about that is you can get to the note going through. You're going through two. You're, or, you can actually go up just from one, which is really nice, yeah. you know, to, uh, on, in that style, from one fret below. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Love it. Because um, you're going to go there anyway. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Or whatever you're doing. The only thing I would watch really is that that, 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 that never gets too sharp. Yeah. There, and then it just, that, 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 and that's a common thing. Yeah. And the other thing is that what a lot of players tend to do is they tend to get very excited. They play manic from, no, from the point one, you know. And it's slowly. a bit like when, you know, when you hear a really great singer, you'll hear, yeah. you know. And I, I know when I was younger, I was certain, I was just over, 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 over trimming all yeah. the time, you know, which, and it's just a thing, it's just, you know, I don't know what it, what it is, I mean, it's just, I think it's really in sheer enjoyment of doing it, you know, the guitarist in a lot of the game. Mm -hmm. 